Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we're going to talk about decoding bell codes for outside plant cable. Let's get to it. Okay, so there is certain print on the jacket of the cable that will tell you exactly what type of cable you're working with. Sometimes there's a part number and sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's easier to identify it by the bell code. Now these are just a small handful of codes that, that you'll find on the jacket, BKMH, BKTA. There's quite a few of these and what we're going to do is, let me give you guys an example of one of these codes and we're going to break it down as far as what letter in position 1 means, what letter in position 2 means, 3 and 4. So let's uh, get an example here for you. Okay, so we have a bell code example here for you. BHBA-100. Now, this is print on the cable jacket. If you're trying to, let's use this as an example, in case you bury, you damage something at the facilities and you need to replace it with the same exact thing. Or maybe this is a proposal that you're working on. Maybe you have a government job that specked out this number here and you're trying to match it. Now, let's go ahead and figure out what this first position here means. So the first position designation stands for either the product, family, or design of your cable. Now let's go ahead and go through them here. You have A, which is a filled pick, riser pick cable. B, an air core pick. Now our first letter here is a B, so we do have, this is telling us we have an air core pick to start off our part number here. Now C is a high potential filled pick cable. D, duct pick or steam path cable. K, internally screened core. L, low competence cable. M, you have a low competence cable with an internal screen. N, pick limited color code cable. And you have your Q, which is your broadband. T, terminating cable tip, 10 copper conductors. So obviously B is what we have here and this is going to tell us our design of our cable. Now for our second designation, it stands for the insulation type. Now there's a few different handfuls here, let's check them out. B, poly PVC, C, foam skin, insulation, air core, E, your foam air core, H, your solid poly air core for 19 and 22 gauge cable, K, solid, poly insulation air core for 24 and 26 gauge. M, your solid insulation with an 80 degree Celsius filling compound. You have N, your foam skin with an 80 degree Celsius filling compound. And you have R, your expanded poly PVC skin insulation. Now, we have H, so we have a solid poly insulation air core, and this also tells us we have a 19 to 22 gauge cable. Now the third designation stands for the copper conductor size. Lettering that you'll see is either an A, which is a 22 gauge cable, B, a 19 gauge cable, H, a 16 gauge, M, a 24 gauge, T, a 26, W, a 28. Now personally, the most common size I've seen is your 24 gauge m but in our code here we have <clears throat> excuse me we have a b which is telling us we have a 19 gauge cable now our fourth designation stands for the shield jacket type now there are quite a few options here for you now let's check out a a is an all path bare aluminum shield b a q path copper shield c an all-path coated aluminum shield. D, ASP coated metallic tapes. G, PAP aluminum shield double jacket. H, PASP aluminum and steel shields double jacket. Q, gopher resistant copper shield. M, ALVYN coated aluminum PVC jacket. P, reinforced self-support figure eight aluminum and steel shields. S, 
self-support figure eight aluminum shield, N, bonded ASP aluminum and steel shields MDPE jacket, W, filled ASP aluminum and steel shields LLDPE jacket, Y, filled bonded ASP aluminum and steel shields LLDP jacket, Z, Air Corps bonded ASP aluminum and steel shields LLDPE jacket. Now our code is A. We have an all path aluminum shield. Now typically you're going to have four designations. You may have additional designations in there. It's that type of cable is not too common, but you're either going to have a UM, which is an unsoldered mechanical protection code, or you have an SA designation after your A or after your fourth letter there, which is a submarine single wire armored or a DA, which is a submarine double wire armored. And don't forget, after your code, you have your 100, which is going to designate how many pairs of cable you got there. So if you have a 25 pair, then 25, 12, 12, you get the idea. Now all the codes that we just went through are based on IEC A publication P 61-694 and Belcor SR-3253 issue 1. Now, according to our code that we broke down and went through, our cable, our, our code here, BHBA-100, we have an air core pick with the solid poly insulation air core for 19 and 22 gauge cable. We do have a 19 gauge copper conductor. We have an all path bare aluminum shield and we do have a 100 pair cable. Now once you figure out exactly what type of cable you need, or if you need a price on it, you can give us a call at 888-797-3697, or you can order all this cable per foot online at discountlowvoltage.com. Thanks.